Hello beautiful earth angels, star seeds and um, yeah star seeds incarnated here down into the 3D earthly plane. Welcome back or hello if you're new to another channel reading and message for you guys. As you know you guys have shifted recently into a new dimensional plane. This dimensional plane is merging your astral um, experiences more into your 3D uh, physical reality in a sense that how this energy is coming through is that you guys have done a lot of refinement and definement when it comes to your inner astral space. Your inner astral space being your inner monologue, your inner mental realm, um, the mental space where you transcend to, where you can fall back into the reflectional space of the shared collective consciousness where you guys have been channeling with other spirits, dimensional beings, have been connecting with other people's higher selves here incarnated, where you do a lot of work and where you receive a lot of telepathies and downloads and channelings. And in that process um, is also linked up to your empathic process, right? How through your spiritual journey, you've been becoming very defi defined and refining and clarifying your inner realms and your emotional realms to know which thoughts are yours, which thoughts are from a different being or someone around you, which emotions are yours and which emotions you're picking up from somebody around you or from a, a space around you. This differentiation that you have developed is really separating out and it's almost like um different thought energies feel different to you okay different frequencies feel different to you in a sense you can tell the difference between your ego thoughts your higher self thoughts you can tell the difference between thought frequencies okay and the differentiation between those and also the differentiation between your emotions which emotions are yours, which are another's, this energy of differentiation almost separates out and um, different aspects, okay? And, and it becomes clearer to navigate the astral and inner mental space. It becomes easier to navigate and clarify uh, the messages coming through of energy interpretation. For example, you walk in a room and you're picking up everyone else's emotional frequencies, thought frequencies, the energies in that space. And at the beginning, right at the beginning of your spiritual journey, you would have just felt all of these thoughts and emotions as your own, right? But as you go through your journey, it comes more clear which emotions are yours, which you're picking up of those around you, right? And so forth. So this differentiation between your inner realm, your emotional realm, and your astral space has become very heightened and clarified and allows you to um, read the people around you better, what they're feeling, what thoughts they're projecting or experiencing, um, because there's a clear definition between your thoughts and feelings and those that you're picking up around you. This same energy, okay, of the astral space is now in the dimension you're in being um, differentiated in your physical reality in a sense that your physical reality, the same as your mental astral space, is a visualization of materialization of your thought pathways, okay, of your thought programmings materialize into your space. And what's happening is that when you guys get synchronicities, this is a physical materialization and manifestation from another energy, right? Like your spirit guides or your higher self will materialize physical synchronicities. And now these synchronicities are manifested not from your uh, thought programmings, but from another energy, the same as you will get thoughts in your mind, and then you'll have a thought materialized that isn't necessarily from you, but from a different being, okay? And it's in this aspect that the layers or the making up aspects of your physical reality 
are being deeper differentiated and you have a spirit guide working with you to do this in a sense that when, yeah, in a sense that when you are in a lucid dream, let's take for example, your, what you're thinking materializes in front of you. But what if something materializes that you're not connected to or isn't connected to you? It means that someone's energy is interacting with your physical reality in a sense that you guys have an ability to output and to receive telepathies. Now, telepathies, like we spoke about before, can come in different shapes and forms. You can get mental thought telepathies that you pick up uh, frequencies of, whether that's through beings or whether that's through others' higher selves, whether they're in your space or far away from your space. You have this ability to receive and pick up these transmissions, these... Um, telepathies right but there is a form of telepathy where someone can send out an energy signal or emotion or a message and it can materialize as a physical telepathy meaning that if I sent out a big wave of telepathy to you as a physical telepathy you might see something in your reality materialize that reminds you of me in a sense that maybe you see somebody that looks like me and then it makes you think of me that is the gateway okay and and how um, it's becoming deeper defined, your physical reality in a sense that what you're materializing into it, what your guides are materializing into it, and what others sending you physical telepathies are materializing into it. Synchronicities are something you've always experienced, but there's something heightening because like I say, in this dimensional plane of vibration that you've recently entered, it is lucidifying, okay? or merging the way that your astral realm works with your physical reality. So these synchronicities that you receive in your physical realm are being amplified in a sense of you're harnessing and utilizing them as gateway keys to then channel and telepathy with. For example, if I sent you a telepathy and it materialized and you see it reminds you of me, by pulling that synchronicity into your mental space, that is the gateway to know, okay, when it shows up. Uh, it's like a it's like an Easter egg gateway to know that I'm sending you strong energy in the astral and it's actually showing up uh, on a surface small level in your physical reality, okay? It's materializing from the astral to your physical and how if you were to pull this synchronicity into your mind, um, that frequency is a gateway to connecting with me in the astral space. So when we pull synchronicities into the astral space and we sit on them and we, um, yes, yeah, sit in that frequency, it starts to condense and materialize into a channel of communication. So your spirit guides send you synchronicities in your physical reality that when you pull into your astral space, you start to channel or communicate with them. And it's almost like a message notification is a synchronicity. Okay, they're bringing it through as if when you get synchronicities in your physical reality, it's like a message notification. But to open that message, you have to click on it, meaning you have to pull that synchronicity into your astral space. And as you sit on that, you start to connect and channel with what the message was wanting to be brought through of or what the communication was wanting to be. Now, this is heightening for you in a way that it's going to become very clear what is materializing in your physical reality from you and it's begun, gonna be becoming heightened of differentiation when you see synchronicities knowing um, what synchronicity that is in a way of who that's being materialized by. Now this works for spirit guides, angels, dimensional beings, but it also works hand in hand with other people's higher selves incarnated with you. Um, other people's energy intertwining with your physical reality in a sense of sending telepathic messages that you can tune into and gather information from. So it's in a sense, heightening of knowing what the being connected to that materialized synchronicity is. For example, when we talk about blossom trees being a synchronicity, 
um, from my previous channelings, I know that that is connected to the fairy realms, the Pegasus dimensions, the unicorn dimensions of frequency and how beings can materialize themselves as different energies in your physical reality that hold the frequency of their vibration, of their dimensional plane. And how, you know, when we get those materialization synchronicities of blossom trees, I know that it's the Fey realms reaching out, wanting to channel with me. So I take that and I go into my astral space and I start channeling because synchronicities hold vibrations and vibrations are coordinates in the astral realm to take you to the vibrational space in the astral realm where that synchronicity or that being is resonating at or connected to. So it's in a sense pulling synchronicities into your mental astral space, which by the frequency of them takes you to the correct frequency location in the astral realm to channel and connect with whoever is sending that synchronicity. It's becoming more defined in a sense that you're going to start differentiating better what synchronicities are from what dimensional beings, spirit guides, angels, etc. But also in a sense of when you get physical telepathies from people incarnated, you're also going to be recognizing what synchronicities are being materialized as sent messages from them. And um, then being able to tune into it and get a message or reading or download information about that person or thing that they are sending over the energy of, right? This is almost reading and interpreting your physical reality in a sense that everything is materialized for a reason. Nothing is coincidence, everything's synchronistic. Whether it's being materialized from your four processes, but then you're deeper recognizing which ones aren't, what synchronicities are coming and, and being planted into your reality as a gateway to connect with those beings or as a gateway to, to collect information about whoever is sending you that telepathy or synchronicity. So I have this all wrote down, we got a bit ahead and kind of went into it, but I'm going to just flick through the messages, get to the right points, because there's a bit more that clarifies this in a better way when it comes to especially you noticing certain synchronicities that are tied to your spirit guides and your spirit team and how they communicate with you through the physical. So as much as you get so much communication through channelings and the inner astral space, okay, in your inner astral fault reflection, this is going to be happening at the same level in your physical reality. The dimension that you've entered is of a high vibration and we know that the higher we go vibrationally, the less disconnect there is between the inner mental realm and the outer reality in a sense that it becomes more lucid like a lucid dream. Okay, so the time gap delay closes between materializations or manifestations and um, everything is very much seen as a mirror. Um, it's almost like you being able to point out and differentiate what parts of your physical reality are being materialized from your four programmings, from your spirit guides, spirit teams, or other people. It's like reading the energy interpretation of your physical reality and the synchronicity is in it which you've already getting synchronicities, but they're going to be heightening as this guide that's working with you is wanting to uh, develop your connection of communication uh, through the physical realm as strong as it is in your astral realm space as well. We're going to go through the channel message points to clarify and summarize this message. And then we're going to get onto the extra added information at the end. So there is a spirit guide, there are guides working with you to help uh, heighten this connection of communication through your physical reality. So they're helping you expand your quantum communication or telepathic abilities by intertwining your astral plane with your physical reality. And your astral plane is becoming very heavily connected and intertwined with your physical reality at a closer level right um so this affects you in a sense of manifestation as well like your manifestation abilities are going to be heightening in a sense of things that you think about are going to be showing up a lot quicker maybe you think about a certain food you really fancy that day and then it just so happens 
to turn up and be brought to you by someone like the time gap delay of manifestation is really closing out um as the more again like i say the more you're ascending into these higher dimensions the more aligned and synchronized the inner to outer planes are becoming so not just in a sense of communicating with spirits and others high but also others higher selves in the physical too. Like I say, you guys get synchronicities materialize in your reality as gateways of communication from your spirit team, your spirit guides, but you also all get a lot of materialized synchronicities from connections who are sending telepathic messages to you, who you're connected to. I was getting through that you guys are somebody who um, and this is linked to a reading I'll link down below about how you can instantaneously recognize if your 5D higher self has been working with someone in the physical. If you meet someone in the physical reality, you can instantaneously um, feel um, if your higher selves are connected. You have an ability to tap into energetic cords between you and others. And this um, gives you the information you need to know if you've been connected in past lives, if you're working on their spirit team, if you guys have been doing astral work together, right? Like I say, if you've been connected in past lives, because there's a lot of you who um, have actually, throughout the whole duration of your life so far, met a lot of people who you're connected with on a higher self level or that you do higher astral work with or that you've already built cord connections with through other past incarnations. There's multiple, multiple plethora of connections who maybe you've met a lot of and there's still some yet to meet that maybe they're coming into your reality um, at a deeper level soon in some type of way. But there's a plethora of people who you have connections to who have this stronger cord connection. And this strong cord connection allows a heightened sense of telepathy and emotional communication, whether that's in the space with them or at a distance, because some of these people don't always need to be in your life the whole way through. But you could have met them in the past and it's like, you know, you have a cord connection. Um, this is soul family. You recognize soul family instantaneously. And when people are resonating on the frequency that you are currently in as well. So in this sense of strong cord connection, there's certain um, beings from other starseed planetary dimensions who send you synchronicities because of your strong cord connection that they communicate with you through. And there's also beings incarnated that send you synchronicities in your reality that show up as a materialization of their energy through the thought projections or emotional projections they send towards you. And this is how this could have been happening recently, or maybe you're noticing it more because of the fact that your physical reality is becoming more defined and differentiated and understood in this way of materialized energies and frequencies. So this is, um, yeah, they're almost highlighting and highlighting with the terms strongly emphasized by them, how the 3D reality works in the sense of it all being materialized energies. So they're helping you to identify what's being materialized in your 3D reality by you and separating it out to see what's being materialized into it by other spirits or beings or other 5D selves. You know how, yeah, we spoke about this at the beginning already, how all thoughts seem the same until they start separating out and becoming more defined. Which thoughts are yours, which thoughts are another's or a guide. This is like the energy, uh, same energy being layered over your 3D plane in a sense that it all just looks like a 3D plane. It all just is what it is. But the height and the more we ascend, the more we start to see um, the differentiation of materialization of situations, occurrences, and things like that. On a side note, you guys could have had a a dream, a vivid dream experience or with someone else's higher self. And in this dream, the dream situation experience was materialized scenarios from your subconscious and also the other person's higher self subconscious that you were with in that dream in a sense that you can tell which parts of a dream you've materialized 
and which parts were materialized from their subconscious because you're very familiar with your thought programmings, your inner cycles and things like that. So this is the same in this 3D reality. If you meet up with somebody and certain situations are occurring, you know if you're materializing them or if their energy and, and subconscious is materializing them. Uh, reality is becoming very lucid in this way. Because your reality is made up of lots of different materialized energies, and you get a lot of physical symbolic telepathies of numbers, songs, imagery, symbolism, and object, object placement. They're helping you in a sense highlight what's making up your 3D plane from your energy, theirs, and others. So, so that you can communicate and channel deeper through your physical surroundings with your guides and picking up information deeper from your physical surroundings. So what will change or amplify? Synchronicities physically are gonna change and amplify. Noticing them and using them as gateways of communication is gonna be something uh, heightening. Knowing what energy or being has manifested that synchronicity, then channeling into the message that they want to deeper communicate. This is what with spirit guides, deities, angels, but also with others sending you telepathies in the astral. So we get a materialized telepathic synchronicity Okay, like I just see a, a Blackberry. Okay, that's the synchronicity. I've noticed it. We acknowledge the synchronicity and then we attach it to its source. Okay, by tuning into the energy of it. What do Blackberries symbolize to me? What energy do they bring through? And who do I associate that with in a spirit guide way, a deity way, or in a physical way? And then tapping into a tuning with their energy. Once we've differentiated where the synchronicity is coming from, this is tapping into their energy, okay, to communicate or translate the energy being sent over as the synchronicity is the surface level gateway. So like we said at the beginning, these synchronicities are like uh, message pop-ups and the message pop-ups, when we click on them and tune deeper into them, we can start to have a phone call, a channeling or a communication with those beings sending the materialized synchronicities. The extra added information for you guys was that birds play a significant role between messages carried to you by your spirit team or past the veil beings, right? Because as much as you guys can connect with others higher selves incarnated you connect so strongly um, and get a lot of physical materializations or synchronicities from deities and beings who only reside on the other side of the veils on the higher frequencies um, of those dimensions they don't have a physical um, body or vessel they reside as frequency in these higher dimensions and yes, they channel and communicate with you inwardly. They want to start communicating with you deeper in your physical reality. First, building up synchronistic uh, communication. And then um, you guys, like, it's going to heighten to the level along your spiritual path where maybe by the dimensions you're entering, you're able to perceive the frequency that makes up their light body. Meaning you may start seeing spirits all these dimensional beings in front of you, the more that you raise to these frequencies, the more you can perceive their light body. Because these spirits, um, their light bodies are made up of certain frequencies, not perceivable to the visible light spectrum. They're made up of UV rays, gamma rays, these high vibrational electromagnetic waves. And your uh, senses have been adjusting to perceiving subtle energy, which are higher electromagnetic waves. So they do want to come in closer communication in your physical and these synchronistic um, communication gateways is like the first layer of building up that connection between them uh, in your physical reality. So birds showing up or hanging around when there's a message for you in the astral is what I was getting through, how we can read not only synchronicities, but the energy of that synchronicity, right? Like we said Blackberry earlier, Okay, reading the energy of the synchronicity, because I could see a blackberry on a bush or I could see blackberries splattered on the ground. And those are different energies, aren't they? So this is like getting in better communication with the energy of synchronicities too, um, in a sense that there's a few points I've wrote down and this is actually how my guides communicate with me a lot too, but they're wanting me to share it with you guys because there's certain guides that communicate with you in this way as well, very strongly through birds. There were many birds coming through. This could be any type of bird, but there were some coming through very strongly. Crows, 
magpies, herons, blue jays, blue tits or bluebirds, um, blackbirds, white doves, robins, hummingbirds, okay, but many different types of birds. They are like the messengers, particularly between you and angelic realms to you guys. You have a lot of angelic realm uh, beings who are on your spirit guide team. So also depending on the action or position is a part of the communication. Like we said at the start, this is the feeling energy of energy interpretation of the synchronicity. For example, if a bird is really close and singing loudly and it's very um, strong and loud and like, ooh, that's intense. This bird's really, um, it's like, an, it's bringing over like a energy of urgency, a energy of calling, an energy of alarm or urgency, right? So if they're also, I was getting through, if they're flying away, if you are in the inner astral space in a thought reflection and you see a bird fly away, this message is being sent, this thought energy of reflection is being taken as a package and taken to your spirit guides or sent wherever you have been intending to send it. Okay, lingering or landing birds is awaiting astral message. Like we say, the message notification, if there's a bird lingering around, kind of just staring at you. And I also got through, this could be cats as well. Um, you guys, this there's a lot of spirit guide to communicate with you through animals and cats and birds came through the strongest, but I'm sure there's some that personally communicate with you in uh, other ways that are significant to you. But cats and birds, when they're lingering or staring at you or landing and waiting, means there's an awaited astral message for you in the astral realm, like a received letter waiting to be opened. There was also this energy of swirling, um, clouding is something big. Yeah, so when birds swirl around you and it's like very much flying around you in clouds or like big directional energies, I was seeing this as something really big occurring collectively or astrally. Um, and, or there's a disturbance or amplification in the astral. Okay, so this is reading the energies of the the beings that your guides choose to connect to you with as also a way of interpretation of what the message that's waiting for you is going to be about, okay? So say the other day there was actually a lot of swirling birds up above me, swirling around. I actually use birds as well connected to my dragon spirit guides because my dragon spirit guides I often see in my uh, astral mind's eye flying up around me. Sometimes it's singular ones, but this time it was like so many different ones. And it's like there was like a big culmination or something big happening, which actually was that synchronicity was related to the last reading we filmed, that there was, there's a big collective disturbance happening in a, in a energy shifting type of way. So this is like, yeah, you're coming in closer communication with your spirit guides, with your spirit team. Not only that, but with the beings and people around you. For example, you could see a synchronicity that reminds you of a close friend and then you could start to channel a message of information about that close friend. And then when you go to meet up with them, it turns out that that has actually occurred or they were actually going through that. You pick up a lot of signals um, sent to you from those that you have called connections to. So yeah, like we say, deeper differentiating better the synchronicities, using them as gateways and how it's going to be heightening because your guides are trying to practice and build this connection of physical communication with you. Almost like your physical reality is a tarot card. You know, your physical reality is down for interpretation by what shows up in it synchronistically. Everything is materialized for a reason, either from your thought pathways, your mental programmings, or if it's not correlated and connected to you, you know it's differentiating who it's coming from that's materializing it to, to you. So that is where we're going to leave this reading. I love you all so much and I will speak to you all in the next message. Mwah.